This tutorial will show you um, how to change the CSS, the cascading style sheet, for a template on your website. Uh, particularly, uh, I'm doing this for a client who has a rocket theme template that uh, I've put on a site for them. Uh, they want to uh, modify the template beyond what the options are in the back end for that template. And so uh, this will uh, give you some clues, perhaps, uh, how to do this yourself if you're working on a rocket theme template. And um, some of the snakes you might run into and some of the tools that you can use for doing that yourself. So uh, we start out logged into the client's um, admin area on their website. And we also I also have the window open. Now, uh, I'm using a tool with my um, Firefox here called Firebug. It's an add-on. You can uh, Google how to put that on uh, add-ons or extensions into Firefox. Um, on my computer, it's installed, and it comes up when I uh, hit F12, uh, which I'm going to do in a second. But here's the template that my client has uh, started to use. And... Um, she wants to change the color so it's all white background. So to do that, we want to see where in the CSS or where in the template settings the background is being affected. So let's go into the back end of the site, go to extensions, and I go to template manager. Uh, the template she's using is RT Entropy. And uh, all of the rocket theme templates have uh, many controls in the back end of, of the template for you to change certain settings and some allow you to change colors, others allow you just to change some of the options that you have. Um, and uh, so here are the options that she has in the back end of her site. I'm going to click on style, the back end for her template. She has style 5 selected. I think that's what she had selected. I've been playing around with this a bit. And some of the information that she's put into place. Uh, now I've got the header panel here. And you see there's a pattern 5 applied to it. Showcase panel. Uh, which corresponds to some different areas. In the header panel, she has the real deal. So if we go to the site and look for the real deal, uh, we see that it's not at the top. Curiously, the header panel is at the bottom, the real deal. And that corresponds, we have a blah, blah, mall there, um, where it was added, uh, attached to um, in a module somewhere. So in this particular template, somehow, header panel is being applied to the footer. I'm not sure why and I'm not sure if that's something in the um, in the panel it's in the template itself or something that we've changed accidentally. But we can just work with that here uh, for the CSS. So uh, here if this is the header panel here we want to change this to white what we would do is we would I would hit F uh, well first of all I would go into the back end and I'd say header panel change the pattern to none and I would go save go back and to this tab and refresh and I would think that um, that would go blank but it doesn't so uh, I get to thinking oh I wonder why that didn't change it and uh, I know that sometimes things can remain the same if there's some kind of caching going on so uh, but let's just see that I want to see the CSS that's affecting this template. So if I hit F12 for Firebug, and then I have to scroll down to the bottom of the page, here uh, Firebug will show you all of the different style sheets and the styles that are affecting what you select, what you inspect. This little tool here, the square tool, I click on it, I can now begin to select areas, and I'm looking for um, uh, what affects the coloring and of different elements. So for instance, if I just click the real deal, click. Uh, here it shows it's the RT header panel, RT bottom panel, and um, text shadow. It shows me just a number of uh, things that are affected uh, where the CSS is that setting that appearance. And over here I can mouse over the name of that file and that will show me the CSS file and the exact line where that, um, where that font is set for its color. Although, mousing over, I notice something right away. Notice the name of the file, css-edf 
AAA, FD, and then a whole bunch of other characters. That's a clue to me that that's not really a CSS file. That looks like it's a, 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 a compressed file of a number of CSS files, which is something that Joomla uh, will do, but also that Rocket Theme has set up in order to speed the loading pages. So I go back to the admin and I go into the, um, so we're still in the template, and I, I just know that that is an advanced area. And I'm going to close Firebug here. And here we see Gantry Cache. If I mouse over that, it tells me what it is down here. And we see it caches data um, from the Gantry. That's the frame, uh, the framework for Rocket Theme templates. So I'm thinking that that might be the problem. But it doesn't say anything about CSS there. Here's Gantry Zipper. And it is off. But it says the gantry zipper is built in compression and combination system will ensure all gantry CSS and JS, that's JavaScript files, are combined. So I would think, well, maybe those are being, the CSS is being compressed here, but that's off. So I don't think turning gantry cache off is going to work. But what uh, will work is um, perhaps there's another plugin. So I'm just going to go close and uh, go up to extensions and plugin manager. Because I know that there's a, a plugin Rock Zipper or Rock G Zipper. I'm just going to type ROK in the filter here and search for all plugins with ROK. Oh, and there we go. System R ROK G Zipper. You can click on that, go in and look and see what it is, what it does. It bundles JavaScript and CSS files. Oh, okay. So I'm going to disable that and I'm going to save and close that. Now we're going to go back to the front page. I'm going to refresh. I'm going to hit F12 and for Firebug and turn on the inspection tool. Let's go to that same area. And right away, when I click on that, hold it, you see now style5.css. That's a much better, um, that, that looks much better for wanting to uh, find out what CSS affects that, that text. So uh, basically what this is telling me is that that text is, um, uh, uh, is set in style5.css. That's this cascading style sheet that's there in the location on the file space. This is, uh, a, a, this is advanced beyond just the basic using of Joomla. The purpose of Joomla is to get things set up so you don't have to be doing this designing. Uh, but if you are doing the designing yourself, it's something you need to do and need to know how to do. So if you were to go to, if we were to go to the file space for this client and go uh, to that location and find, find that file, open and edit it, and then go to line 41, we would see that style 5, uh, sorry, on line 41, that the uh, hashtag RT header panel dot title and RT bottom panel dot title would have this information. Now, uh, by changing some of these numbers here, or even deleting them, we can change what uh, happens. So we see right here we're adjusting a text shadow, and uh, in there we had uh, I think it was 0 0.05. Or maybe it was 0.5. Notice it changes up in the corner um, as we make different things there. Once you find a setting here that you want, then what you can do is uh, go to that file and change it so that it appears exactly as you want. So if we take out that little transparency figure and we see that this is all solid, uh, a solid shadow. So if we wanted it to look that way, we would just go to this file, line 41, take out that number, upload it, and it would be that way forever. This, uh, using, changing things here does not change it on the server. It only changes it in the window here for you to preview and get things the way that you want. But we could also notice, um, change the font size to, uh, let's say 300%. First of all, we have to get it to, there we go, click on it. We go 300 and I'll put in a percent. It goes big, but we've also adjusted the font size for all of the fonts header, panel, module, titles, 
bottom panel so you have to be careful when you get changing things around like that and that's an even more advanced uh, uh, thing to look up uh, on, on the web for making specific CSS but what we're after here is changing the background to white so I'm just going to go up and refresh this page and uh, let's start with making this footer white if I choose the inspect tool select it all now I'm going to go over here and see where that color is added. Here it is. Header. I was looking for background. And in this case it showed up very nicely. Header. Pattern none. Bottom panel. Pattern none. Now we've already selected in the back end of the template. Go there. Go to entropy. And then style, header panel, we selected none. And it turns out that footer panel and header panel are working the same for some reason. So that too is set to none. So when you select none uh, for a divider and for, a, uh, sorry, for a pattern, then you end up getting this blank color. Now watch, I know that the hex code for white is FF, FF, F. Oh, it's now coming in there. Oh, right. Let me just refresh that because my mail program changed that. Select, look for background. There it is. We select FF, 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 and there you go. We've got white. And that is the background color. Now, so if you want that area to stay white on this particular template, go to Style 5 CSS located on the server there. Change that line to FF, 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 and that will uh, make it always be white. Now, uh, there's other areas though on this template. Here's the top, it's now white. But look at this purple. What do you want to get rid of that purple? Well, again, we would select the purple area. And having clicked, we'll look for that background color. Nope, it's not that. Here is a showcase panel. Oh, now in this case, here it says background URL. It's showing to a purple file. Now, there's a, probably a good chance that that background file is actually a transparency file, and the uh, color will um, that the color is set somewhere else. In fact, as we look further down the line, we see a color. So if we were to delete, go into Style 5 CSS line 115, then we would uh, you could change this background on line 115. Just take the image right out. And it would disappear, but it looks like we would still have a color. And since we want white here, let's do the same thing. Let's see what happens if we put in FF, FF, FF. We still get purple, which tells us that we really need to get rid of this file here. Now, when I click out and mouse over it, we see that that file actually is purple. So if I were to do this, just for now, we'll just delete that whole URL. Now it disappears. Now we've got a white background. Although we have another situation that has to be addressed, and that is this image here. And uh, that's what happens when you get changing these templates. You need to start looking at other areas, and it becomes quite a bit of work. Uh, just a reminder the reason to use a purchase template is to get as close to the look that you want so you don't have to make many changes because Joomla is getting you away from having to worry about design so you can get your content up. So you'll run into this in a number of times with Joomla um, trying to uh, get rid of colors and change things. But again, um, you can uh, find out what is affecting things, find out how you want things changed and go into the template. So that's to, cha to change the background white. Let's just do one more. Let's go up to this top section here. I'm going to select it. We look down at the top, let's see, fixed header, there's really no color. 
here's rocket top and I mouse over oh I see little dots and I also see a gray color so this time let us remove the image or preview it without the image and delete it now we still get kind of a gray but we don't have that pattern uh, now if you want it that way again here's the color here let's go in here and go um, make it black uh, I think that is zero 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 zero. Yes, that's black. Uh, maybe you just want the top black, and you would still have to change the font for uh, change the color happening for the font and do things. But or you could go white f f f f f f. Or you can put in any hex uh, any color uh, any hex code for any color that you want to use. And uh, once you get it looking the way that you want here. Go to style5.css and this time line 30 you would change rocket uh, rt dash top. Uh, after a while you can uh, get pretty good at finding these codes. Uh, just open up style5.css and you'll probably see where a lot of things are set. You might even find some number, hex numbers that are used over and over and over again. You can replace those uh, with one that you want without going through all this preview process. So there you have it. How to use uh, uh, Firebug in Firefox to change a Rocket Team template if you're not given the option to change some of the colors. Uh, every template is different, and uh, if you're trying to do this yourself, it's, it is not just a basic part of uh, working on a Joomla site. It's, uh, it's design and CSS, uh, the, probably the exact thing that, um, that uh, people are using Joomla to get away from. So I uh, hope that is helpful for you, hasn't muddied the waters too much or gives you some ideas. Uh, by all means, if there's something that you're not sure of you're, or you're wondering about, uh, go ahead and uh, email me and see if I can clarify or do another tutorial on that, that aspect as well. Thanks for watching.